Well, hello there, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Dodgy Gamer here, bringing you another editor guide, another guide to creating international competitions in the editor. This time, we're going for a tournament, a proper tournament with group stages, followed by knockout rounds. So, if that's something that interests you, make yourself comfortable and enjoy the video. And if international management in general is your kind of thing remember this is your one-stop shop for all things international management so hit that like button subscribe to the channel and click on the notification bell so you don't miss any future international videos all right so here we are back in our friend the editor now the competition i want to guide you through today is one that actually is here present in the game already it's the mediterranean games football tournament so you see it comes up here so i'm just going to select that now as you can see this is an under 20 tournament so we're going to be creating a youth tournament again but of course all the stages i show you you could use to create a senior tournament instead so the benefit of using something when it's already in the database, if not necessarily activated in the game is that any tournament history is going to be automatically added in case you're wondering why this is in the database but it's not featured in the game this is just basically at the moment serving the purposes of the club or nation history so when you go to a nation's page like you go to italy's page you might see that they've won the mediterranean games at some point but the actual tournament itself is not playable so what we're going to do today is activate it so again we come to rules and add international rules as I've mentioned in my previous videos, you've got to do your research before you get into this about the format of the competition, the nations involved, the dates that it takes place. So I've done all of that. I'm going to leave January as the update day, the day when the competition will reset. And then, as we've done before, competitions, press add, and then we go to rules. And then here we just need to, again, find the Mediterranean Games. So there you go, we've brought it up, Mediterranean Games Football Tournament, International Finals. We're just going to remind the editor that it is an under-20 international tournament. Now this tournament, I've done my research, takes place every four years. It's usually in the same year as the World Cup, but of course it's a youth tournament, so there's no clash there. And the last couple of editions, it does change a little bit each time, but they've had 12 teams involved, so we're going to have groups four groups of three is the format we're going for the draw date this doesn't matter too much just remember it needs to be more than a month after the update date which we set as january and more than a month before the tournament date which is going to be june so we will set it as the first of march squad size 23 host nation we're just going to pick from participating teams it's the easiest thing to do Okay, so now it's time to add our stages. Now, the most recent edition of this tournament was held in 2018. They had nine teams in, three groups of three, and it was the top team and the best second place to make up the semi-finals. But looking at even earlier editions of the tournament, we've had them do it with uh, two groups of four creating a semi-final. We've had the tournament take place with four groups of three, winners going through to a semi-final. So that's what I'm going to go with. I'm going to go with the four groups of three format. Just adds a bit more variety. So we need to add our stages. So just count them with me. So we've got four groups of three. So that's one group stage. We want the winning team to qualify from each group to the semi-final. So that's another stage. And then as this is a games tournament, there's going to be a bronze medal match, third place playoff. There's going to be a final. So four rounds we need to add in. But then... We just need to change them individually. So the first one, of course, we change from knockout round to group stage. We still do have to name it as a group stage. It's annoying. I'm not sure why. But if you don't name it as a group stage, I guess it's just because other competitions call it something different than the when you do the rules check, the editor will tell you that you haven't named it. So anyway, we've named it the group stage. There we go. Number of teams starting at this stage is 12 and number of teams qualifying for next stage very important that we set this as four now of course if you were doing a larger tournament so let's say 16 teams and you're going to have four groups of four you might tell it then the eight teams are going to qualify for the next stage or in this example we might want the top two to go through and say eight teams are going to qualify you just have to set that you just have to do the maths and make sure the numbers match up so number of groups we're going to set to, yeah, it's on four already. Number, now this is important, number of rounds we need to change to one. If you leave that on two, 
then those all those teams are going to play each other twice. So it'll be like a Champions League group stage instead of a tournament group stage, which obviously we don't want. Now, as this is a group stage, we need league sorting rules. So I'm going with goal difference, goals for uh, matches between teams. I know in a lot of tournaments, matches between teams is the first decider. But I hate it when that happens because I've been screwed over so many times in tournaments and group stages on Football Manager because, you know, I've got a superior goal difference, but that team's beaten me or got a score draw away from home against me. Yeah, and that's a pain. Now we're going to need to add dates. So these are the basic dates you want the schedule to work around. And basically we need to add one date for each match day. So with a group of three, there are going to be three different match days. So we're going to have Team A play Team B, Team A play Team C, Team B play Team C, if that makes sense. So we need to add three dates in here. And as I said when I've done my research, this tournament generally takes place in late June. So we're going to set this as the 20th of June for the first game. And that's going to be 2022. We don't have to worry about the time at this point. And then we're just going to duplicate that twice. And the games come every other day. So we'll make that 22nd of June and 24th of June. Now, if we leave it like that, then all the group matches are going to take place at the exact same time on the exact same day which we don't necessarily want to happen. So if you want to space them out, you have to come in here where it says individual group dates. So when we press add, you see we get this one comma dates zero. Okay, that doesn't make much sense at the moment, I know. So if we open that up, we come here group index. So group one is basically going to be group A in the competition. So we're going to add in the dates here. I'm just going to add the same dates I did before, so 20th of June 2022. If we make the kickoff time like in the evening, we'll make it 5.30 p.m. Now what I'll do now is just to save myself a bit of time, duplicate that twice, and then I'm going to change the dates of the other group matches to the 22nd and the 24th. So again, just to save time, I come back to individual group dates, and I'm just going to duplicate that just once for now. So now we change that group index to 2, so this now becomes group B. So group B is going to take place on the same day as group A, but we're going to make the matches a little bit later in the evening. So we'll make those 7.30pm using the 24 hour clock, of course. So now we've got group 1, group 2 set, or group A, group B. Now I'm going to select both of those and just duplicate them one more time. Now what I'm going to do this time is change the dates in each one. So this one, I'm going to change group index to three. So that's going to be group C in the game. And I just want to put that the day after. So 21st, 23rd, and 25th. And then this other duplicated one, we're going to change that to four. So that'll be group D. And again, you see the kickoff time here is 7.30. So that's also going to be on the 21st, the 23rd, and the 25th. Now, obviously, if you have a larger tournament, you go in for something like the World Cup with 32 or as it will be in the future, 48 nations. This is going to get quite complicated and time consuming. So just make sure you plan those dates out, pencil and paper in advance. Right. So now time to add in our next knockout round, which is going to be the semi-final. There we go. We just select that. So semi-final. Don't need to worry about number of teams starting at this stage because we've already told it to take four teams from the group stage. Number of matches, though, we do need to set to two. Match rules, just tick the box so it knows to do extra time and penalties. And we're going to have this take place on the 27th of June. And then just down here, we're just going to add that in again. 27th of June. And we'll have kickoff times of 5 o'clock. And then if we just duplicate that once... And then we can just change the other kickoff time to 8 o'clock. And there you go. We've got our two semi-finals taking place on the same evening. So then the next match we want to set is a third place playoff. So remember for this, just like when we did the cups in the previous video, we just need to set the date here. So there you go. Let's make that the 29th of June. And we'll have that taking place at 6 p.m. And then the only other stage to add is the final. So we've just got to search up the word final. Add that in. 
number of matches is just one make sure we've got the match rules in and i'm going to give these guys an extra day to get ready so we'll make that the 30th of june 7 p.m kickoff we don't have to worry about individual cup tie dates here because it's just one match Right, so the only thing to add now is teams. So remember, just like with the other competitions, we're going to have to do that in the advanced editor. But first, of course, we save the editor data. Medgames v1. I always know v1 is my file from the basic editor. And then we convert to advanced rules. Okay, so we just come down here, click on the downwards arrow to get those drop down menus for the Mediterranean Games football tournament. So, much like with the knockout tournament I showed you how to create last time, we need to do two things here add the teams, and then we need to double check that all the matches are going to take place in the host nation. So, first the teams, we come here to qualified teams. Now, what happens in this tournament is basically, as the name suggests, Mediterranean Games, it's a whole host of countries that border the Mediterranean Sea, have a Mediterranean coastland, or are pretty close to the Mediterranean Sea. From So from Europe, from North Africa, and then countries like Syria, Lebanon as well. All right, so as usual, we've got best national teams as default here. So what we want to do is set up a team pool. So like we did for the China ASEAN tournament in one of the previous videos. So we're going to go with get random teams from the team pool. We're going to change the team type just to reinforce it to under 20. Now looking at past tournaments, like I say, the number of teams, the format changes each time. What I've noticed is usually there's two non-European teams in there from either North Africa or Syria, Lebanon. Israel and Palestine don't compete for reasons. And then the rest come from Europe. So we'll set up the uh, we'll set up the Asia Africa zone first. So maximum number of teams we want picked is two. Then we will go down here to team pool. We add in teams again, and then we just click on this default get all teams from division, and we change it to get specific team. Algeria comes up first alphabetically, and funnily enough, Algeria is one of the teams we want to be in the team pool. Now, there are six more. Obviously, there's Morocco, there's Tunisia, Libya, Egypt, there's Syria and Lebanon as well. So all I do to add those in is I just select the second Algeria and then I scroll down here to where it says Algeria and we change it to Morocco, for example. Now, obviously, you don't need me to show you me doing this for every single nation. So I'm just going to cut ahead to once I've got them all entered. All right, so there we go. I've entered those seven nations into this team pool so as we said here it's going to pick two of those at random and add them to the competition now to add in the european teams again i'm going to save myself a little bit of a job but just going to hit duplicate then come here and just going to edit these teams to match the european entrance in the competition all right, so there you go, got all that done. Now, one nice thing about this Mediterranean Games, although it is an under-20 competition, of course, not a full senior one, but you've got some big nations in here. I mean, look, Portugal, Spain, France, Italy, Croatia, Greece, Turkey. Granted, you've got the likes of Andorra, San Marino, and Malta in there as well, but some pretty good teams. And throw in the likes of Morocco, Tunisia, and Egypt, and you could have quite competition on your hands. So one thing I almost forgot again, set the maximum number of teams there to 10. Okay, so now to get the 12 nations for that competition, the game is going to pick two out of the seven we added from North Africa plus Syria and Lebanon. And then it's going to collect 10 more teams from those European nations that compete in the Mediterranean games. And there we will have our 12 team tournament. And then from there, it's going to choose a random host. So there's one more thing we need to do. Do you remember what it is? If you said it's to check the venues and the stadiums, well, well done. Go to the top of the class. You got it right. So to do that, we come to match times and rules. We scroll down to fixture dates. So you can see here all the knockout rounds are listed. The group stages don't have this problem, but final, third place playoff, semi-final, by default, they're set to home. We're just going to change them all to host Anytime you have a knockout stage in an international competition, you need to come and double check this to make sure the right stadium's being used. 
So now I don't think we've missed anything. So we just need to save that as an under a slightly different file name. So we're going to save that as V2. And then the last thing to do is to just run that test in the editor. And then of course, we're going to run a test in the full game. So here we are in the full game on the Mediterranean Games homepage. So as you can see here, we've holidayed through. We have had a couple of tournaments play out. So we just want to check on a few things as we did in the previous video. We just want to check that the, the right teams are joining this competition, that the host nations are correct, that the format is correct and there's no obvious glaring issues. So remember, this was a competition that already kind of existed in the database, just needed to be activated and have the rules added. So you can see here, just like you get for the World Cup, for the Champions League, for the Premier League, all the past versions of the competition, the history is already here. And then the ones in purple are the ones that have run since I started the game. So we can see 2022, 2026, the tournament took place, hosted by Algeria and Italy, which I did deliberately set. I don't know if I showed you that in detail. That is going to be a future quick guide video to how to set the how to set specific hosts for specific years. But anyway, let's have a quick look at the 2022 tournament. So we can see here we should have four groups of three, which we do. A quick look at the teams. There's no team that shouldn't be here. They're all under 20 sides as far as we can see. And it was indeed the four group winners that made it through to the semi-final round. It was actually, uh, then we got Portugal, Bosnia in the third place playoff. It was actually a Cyprus-Turkey final. Interesting clash that Cyprus. Bit of a surprise package there coming out the winners with their under-20 team. And then the second tournament in Italy, we can see again, slightly different teams this time. So we have Turkey come back. We didn't have the defending champion Cyprus come back, but I guess that's something we could set in the editor. We could set in a rule that the defending champions come back. But as far as I could tell with this competition when I researched it, that's not something that's guaranteed to happen. But we did have the host nation in at least. We had this time Malta, Kosovo, Slovenia in there. So slightly different teams this time. And the right four teams, the group winners, went through to the semi-final stage. And then Italy beat Portugal in the final to claim the title. So again, we're just checking that there's no clash with anything. Now, of course, under-20 teams have... The, we have this under-20 elite league in the UEFA zone, but that doesn't take place during the summer. So the Mediterranean games didn't clash with anything. Also worth checking out teams from different confederations. So Lebanon from the Asian Confederation, we can see here, their under-20 team only took part in the Mediterranean Games. And here just looking at Egypt under-20, so a team that is a bit more active in international competition than Lebanon. So we can see they took part in their African under-20 qualifiers. Then they took part in the Mediterranean Games. No clashes there, so it's all good. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. We've gone into the editor. We've created the Mediterranean games. We've built the group stage. We've built the knockout rounds. We've made sure we've got the right venues and everything like that set up. And we've made sure the tournament runs as we wanted it to with those under 20 sides from the European Mediterranean coast, from the African Mediterranean coast, from the Middle Eastern Mediterranean coast. So quite a complex thing to set up but we managed to get it to work. So I do hope you found that useful and this will help you create your own international multi-confederation, multi-stage tournaments as well. If you have enjoyed the video and found it useful, please hit that like button, drop me a comment as well. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. I'm Dodgy Gamer, and we'll be back with more guides to international competitions in the editor soon.